this time of year, I always get fascinated at looking at what's being activated for the next year. And so in 2010, we have more major planetary changes than we have seen on this planet for a long time. What is happening is exactly what you know from watching from the news. A great deal of confusion, a great deal of change, and a great deal of changing of our foundations of our life. We enter the energy of 2010 with a lunar eclipse, New Year's Eve, Mercury retrograde, and Mars retrograde. What that means in English is the planet of how we think going backwards. What did I miss? What, what haven't I quite picked up yet? What do I need to rethink about? And the planet of action going backwards also. This is a Mars retrograde. But October 16th, Mars is planet of action. Now Mars is a planet that encourages us to act in a certain way. Mars on October 16th entered Leo. Moved out of Cancer, let's be safe. Moved into heart-centered. Okay, let's go for it, Leo. Now you've got to think that planet would normally spend four weeks in that area. It's in there for six months. So why I think this is the magic carpet ride is the energy of Leo when it's working right is opening your heart to what gives you joy. So this energy is going to be really problematic if you don't have that going on. And if you will do this energy between now and next May, by May your life is going to look a lot different. You know, nobody can tell you what to do but yourself. And nobody tells me what I should do like my heart. I had dinner with a very good friend, and we laughed. You know, we were, everybody in the restaurant was looking at us, but we were giggling. And it's that, it's that energy of opening your heart that we don't do enough. So this is asking you to make some adjustments in your life and to allow room for fun, for joy, for laughter. So how it's playing out right now is some real violent things going on out there. People who have felt they've been ignored or mistreated or whatever are going to act up between now and May 13th. So my way of thinking is I'm a very, very important person. When I get on the freeway, I can let somebody in who's angry and make their day better. And so I'm stepping into Pisces already. So for me, Pisces is a saying, and it's the saying that Bobby Kennedy said. So the saying of Aquarius would be, I see things and say, why? And that's that blue circle on your chart. And the saying of a Pisces for this is the other part of what he said. I see the world and say, why not? So the energy of imagination and why not is coming. So you see that little green line on the chart? That little green line is the planet Saturn. Saturn is about duty and obligation and responsibility. And for the last three years, this planet has been in the sign of Virgo. Let's get it right. Let's get all the details. Um, and it's been making something called an opposition, uh, which is a different point of view, across from Uranus, the planet of change in Pisces. And in any astrologer will tell you the big planet wins. The big planet is Uranus, which is change. So this energy of Saturn in Libra says you're going to get five times more done with two people than you got with one person. So if there was nothing else that I would ask you all to do, it would be open your mind and your heart for new partnerships, new clients, new, new ways of doing things because there is a true gift to this planet. One of the things that you will see on this sheet of paper is at the end of this orange line, a big circle, a big blue ink circle. 
That is the energy of the eclipse. So for this eclipse, Pluto, which is transformation, Venus, which is about love and beauty, the Sun, which is the light, Mercury, which is about communication, and the North Node, which is what we need to do, are all in Capricorn, and Mercury is going backwards. So this energy of Capricorn is going to be very important to all of you for the next 22 years because Pluto is going to be there. And for every eclipse that you have in 2010, they are all Cancer, Capricorn. Cancer, am I safe? How does this feel? Capricorn, am I becoming and doing the best I can? Not just for myself, but for the world. This is a time of responsibility for all of us of stepping out. Believe it or not, sometimes you do an update with me and there's more colors. I was trying to keep it very, fairly simple tonight. See where the little blue line and the red line merge? That's the doorway between Aquarius. Why? Let's change this. We really need to make some changes. And Pisces. What would the dream be? What should this feel like? How do I move into this energy? So we're going to have... Jupiter, which is expansion, moving out of Aquarius into Pisces, and then going back into Aquarius, and Uranus, which is change, mixed in with this energy. So we have Jupiter supersizing things, Uranus, which is change, going into Aries, back into Pisces, and we're having Chiron, which is the energy of the wounded healer, entering Pisces also. So you're looking at kind of a Pisces um, energy for probably the next 15 years because 2011 Neptune will go into Pisces also. Thus, all of the things of uh, manifesting. So this energy to me is about dreaming something that in some way you have some chance of making this happen. One of my best friends, 62, she found this unbelievable man. They're ecstatically happy. So I, I do believe that anything is possible. But w w the big shifts that both those people made was they said, you know, I think maybe I'm now I'm ready for a relationship. And I said, so if I said, I think maybe I'll meet you for lunch today, you know, would you have stopped what you were doing and came? They're like, no. And I said, so you want it or you don't want it? Just a yes or no. They both said yes. And it happened almost immediately. And I remember the first show I did with Lori Aletha. She said, I, Carol, I don't know what to think of you. All these people that come around you and they're all so laughing and kind of loud and <laughs> fun. And I said, yes, they're my friends and my clients. And uh, this was how many years ago? <laughs> Lots of years ago. They're a little older now. Not quite so noisy. <laughs> um, but, you know, that that has always been a part of life to me is that um, if you can get people to laughing, if you can laugh yourself at something, you're going to slough off a whole lot of things that otherwise might just overturn your boat in the water. When you look at 2012 astrologically, it's nothing compared to 2010. I don't think. I mean, the Cardinal Cross comes in, major planets change signs. Neptune, when it moves to Pisces in 2011, is going to be home. That's the sign that it is happiest in. I dream the impossible dream, and we here it is. And that energy will become stronger and stronger in your life.